Welcome back, everybody, to the Tennessee Titans franchise on Madden 23. Here in Week 3, the Titans look to get their first win of the season, taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. They fought hard against Buffalo and came so close to their first win, failing on a game-winning two-point try. Now Tennessee is back at home taking on the Raiders, who picked up Devontae Adams in the offseason. That creates a big test for this defense. But offensively, the challenge for this running game gets even greater. As Nicholas Petit Frere suffered an injury this week in practice, it happened Wednesday, and we're officially running out of offensive linemen. Nate Davis and Aaron Brewer are already out again for this game, and we should see Brewer return next week. So missing three offensive linemen, the Titans desperately went to available free agents and brought in Senio Calamente, a veteran who's been around the NFL for a lot of years. He's played in 97 career games. He will start at right guard, and the Titans released wide receiver Cody Hollister, who has not seen the field in the first two weeks. The Raiders have had some production early this year, but Derek Carr also leads the NFL in interceptions with six through two games. I want to see us get some takeaways today because this is a very bad Raiders offensive line. Their situation's about as bad as ours with injuries in positions that aren't even that strong to begin with anyway. Can we force some mistakes out of Derek Carr and get this first win? That is the mission. And hopefully next week we start to get healthier on offense and get back to our starting lineup. If you're enjoying the series to this point, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Much more on the way here with Tennessee. Week 3 getting underway and the Raiders will receive the opening kickoff here in Nashville as Randy Bullock gets us underway. And it's return. This is Teron Johnson to the right side and he is taken down near the 26. Here's Derek Carr. He's got a patched together offensive line in front of him, but outstanding weapons to throw to. Darren Waller, Devontae Adams, Hunter Renfro, they're all on the field here on first and 10. And they will open in the air. Carr to the outside. A quick connection with college teammate Devontae Adams. Out of the shotgun now at the 30. Good protection and the catch made. That's Josh Jacobs. And he picks up 10 yards and a Raider first down. Single high safety here for Tennessee. Carr protected again. Sideline for Renfro and a catch at midfield. And it looks like that'll be a hard one to overturn. This is third and inches for Carr. Again to Adams. Matched up with Caleb Farley. And the veteran gets it done. First down to the Tennessee 38. Car back to the air. Wide open Adams. He got matched up with Zach Cunningham. That should never happen. Easy pitch and catch. Raiders on the move. First red zone trip of the day. It's Josh Jacobs through the middle. And the Raiders making this look easy on their opening drive. They are inside the 10. Three receivers in the game. Carr backs up buying time, but good coverage on this play. Incomplete. Two receivers to the right side. On second down, Carr to the end zone. The catch is made for the touchdown. And it's Josh Jacobs who ran an outstanding route to the corner of the end zone and Carr put it right on him. And how about this offensive line? I expected them to struggle out the gate and they look pretty good. In all three games this season, the opposition has scored first. And these poor starts have made it difficult to establish the offense the way that we want. But here is Derrick Henry to get things started, dragging a defender ahead to the 31. Now, Henry does lead the league in attempts. But with that being said, we've still thrown it more this year than was originally intended. Third and four for Tannehill, and the catch is made. There's the tight end, Jeff Swaim, with a gain of eight. Now, they motion Burks, who's coming off an outstanding game. Play fake, Tannehill to the middle. This one is incomplete. Hooper had it in his hands. Third down now. Burks and Woods off to the right side. Tannehill steps up. He's hit, but gets away and fights toward the marker where he is stopped inches shy of a first down. And I think we're going to see them go for it here. Aggressiveness out of Hayden John Charles. 
Here's Henry, and he gets the first down with ease, falling ahead inside the Raider 45. The fullback, Tory Carter, stays in the game on first down. Again, running inside. And so far, good success on the ground. Two tight ends again. Won't see a ton of three receiver sets this year as Tannehill is off the mark out in front for Derrick Henry. They need about the 32 here. And Swain can't hold on to it. It's incomplete. And they'll bring on Randy Bullock for what is a 54-yard try. Left hash. On its way, and right down the middle, it's off the camera. That did not hit the goalpost at all, the crossbar. That's off the camera, and good. 7-3, Raiders take over at their own 30. Fake to Jacobs, car downfield, perfectly thrown to Foster Moreau, who had a step on David Long. Our linebackers are not a good matchup for these tight ends. Here's Jacobs now off tackle with running room. And he's hit down hard by Cunningham, but he gets the first down. And now he checks out of the game. And this is Zamir White to the right side. The rookie finding daylight. He's down to the 12. And this Raiders offense is working efficiently. And they're getting big gains as well. First and 10. Dropped off over the middle. That's caught by Jacobs. Car an efficient 10 of 12 to start his day. Now eight yards away. Back of the end zone and broken up by Christian Fulton. Intended for Hunter Renfro. That brings up a third down. Car underneath. Foster Moreau doesn't have the first down yardage. He's taken out of bounds. Josh McDaniel says go for it. They need just a few inches and let the clock run out in the first quarter. Well, I guess he changed his mind. Daniel Carlson, 19-yard field goal, makes it a 10-3 ball game. And the Titans will take over here in the second quarter. Two tight ends on the field. Henry running left. He's got the opening out to the 40 and taken down. 21 more to Henry. He's at 43 on the day. And what do you do after that? Right back to him, but this time it's played well. Now they get to second and long, and this is where you get that third receiver on the field. Tannehill under pressure, sails one through the hands of Robert Woods. There were two defenders in the area, but he should have came down with that. And now third and 10, deep down field, caught this time by Woods. He goes right back to him. Woods hauls it in. And now look who's in the game. The rookie. Third round pick Malik Willis on first down. He's going to keep it and slides down in front of the first defender. It's a gain of three. So we've seen a little bit of Willis now this week and last as Woods makes the catch. But lost the football in the process and the Raiders say they have it. Was the need down though? Clear recovery here for the Raiders. Let's see the collision. And that ball is out. And the knee is not down. It is another Tennessee turnover. That's been a big problem this year. And now Waller's the newest problem. Down the field to the Tennessee 30. They love to get vertical with their tight ends. And we couldn't be any worse set up for it. Cut back by Jacobs. And a good stop by Kevin Byard. That's a nice play. Ball at the 28 of Tennessee. And Carr's got plenty of time. And that's too much room for Devontae Adams. Come on. We did a much better job putting pressure on Josh Allen last week. I don't get this. Jacobs carries on first down and gets through for the touchdown. Barely any resistance there from the Tennessee run defense. And this is looking like another horrible game akin to week one. So here we are, 17-3. Derrick Henry's carried six times. Our plans are already in disarray as Henry loses two more. And what do you do now when you're behind the sticks? You can't just keep giving it to him. On second down, not on the same page with Robert Woods, and it's third and 12. 
Extra receiver in the game. Tannehill fires incomplete in the direction of Burks. Tannehill is 3 for 10. And the Raiders take over. Already three scoring drives. Carr underneath, and this one is dropped. This defense needs a stop. I don't care how you get it. Third and 10. Soft coverage. And now the check down to Jacobs. And that's what the threat of Darren Waller and Foster Moreau will do. We're sitting in a softer zone. And now the underneath is opened up. New set of downs. Carr got hit late and does throw it away. There's a little pressure, but it's taken a while to get there. Four on the rush. Here comes Simmons. Carr finds Waller and he converts. Of course, we pressure him out to the right side. And Waller's just right there waiting for him. We just can't catch a break. Carr open Renfro this time. Inside the Tennessee 35. Derek Carr over 200 yards passing here in the first half. Carr feeling rush again, and with nobody open, has to get rid of it. Carr 17 of 24 now. Blitz this time. Carr feels it, and again, throws it away. Really trying to avoid the interceptions that caused problems the first two weeks. Third down for Carr. Eight in coverage. Nobody close to him. Now time's running out. He heaves one, and it's intercepted by Caleb Farley. But there is a penalty marker down. Let's check it. You gotta be kidding me. It's roughing the passer on Bud Dupree. We finally have something defensively. And it doesn't count. And the Raiders are now 15 yards away from the end zone. And Waller takes them inside the 10. Third and one Raiders. Right up the middle, and Jacobs doesn't find much room, but more than enough. Goal to go, Las Vegas. Jacobs inside again. Nice play by Tyre Tart. That sets up third and goal. They run it inside, and that gets stuffed. Back-to-back -back plays made by Tyre Tart to force the field goal try. We really need a score here before halftime. It's been an ugly first half. Catch made by Westbrook Akine. And we'll see Tennessee go more up-tempo here. Three receivers on the field. Third and four. Tannehill flushed in. He's taken down. Coverage pretty good downfield. And the Raiders will get it back. And they have not punted the football in this first half. First and 10, wide open, Devontae Adams. Raiders out to midfield. Carr now at 230 yards passing. Protected and wide open is Darren Waller. Matched him up there with Ugo Amadi. It doesn't matter, he's beaten everybody that's covered him. Amadi did get picked by his own player on the play. But now down to 26 seconds and down goes Carr. Elijah Molden got home again. He had a sack last week. So that's going to bring on Daniel Carlson. And from 47, the Raiders finish a very strong first half where they scored on every possession they had the ball. They have ran nearly double the snaps that we have. They've ran the ball well. They've thrown the ball well. It ain't looking good. And if you look ahead to next week, we take on the Colts, who are currently leading the Chiefs. Let's get on to the second half now, and Henry will start things, and again, not having any success trying to go off tackle. So you are forced to run behind these backup guards. Sail downfield, Woods is under it and makes the catch! A rainbow from Ryan Tannehill, and finally something positive in this game. Out to midfield now, Carter back in, and Henry's taken down. And that wasn't one of the backups, that's tackle Dylan Radons, who could not slow him down whatsoever. A loss of two. Tannehill to the air, and he's off the mark for Traylon Burks. This is just uncompetitive football. And it's third and 12, Tennessee. Tannehill's got time and does connect with Austin Hooper, who boxes out the defender. Out of the shotgun now, and they'll give it to Henry again. Not much room on that one. 
He started strong, but he's lost a lot of yards and hasn't had too many positive carries lately. It's third down. Pressure from the right side, and Tannehill is taken down. And it's Max Crosby. So they'll bring out Randy Bullock again. This one from 52. And at least these kicks are going through. It's 23 to 6. And starting center Ben Jones is being helped off the field. This is unbelievable. We have three replacement interior linemen right now, and we're down 17 here in the second half. That's a good play for Jeffrey Simmons. We did not force a punt or get a turnover in that first half. A chance here, third and 11. Carr, under pressure, fires downfield, and this one is out of bounds, and they will punt it away. Hey, with the way things are going today, is there any surprise Malik Willis is in the game? He calls his own number, it's blocked well, and he gets the first down. Gain of 11 for Malik Willis, and he's hurrying up this offense now, and they're staying empty. First and 10, his first NFL pass is complete to Robert Woods. Gain of 10. So we'll see the extent of their plans here with Willis. He's back to pass again on second down, but this one is way out in front for Traylon Burks. And Ryan Tannehill is back in the game. Third and inches. Up the middle, it's Derrick Henry. Up to the 40. You can't afford to give up on Henry at this point. Oh, they fake it to Hilliard and try to get it to Burks, who's been awfully quiet today. No gain. Henry back in. This is second down. And the ball thrown at the feet of Burks. He hasn't had a good ball thrown his way, it seems. Third and 10 for Tennessee. This one's going deep and batted away from Westbrook Akine. There isn't a true deep threat on this team. So they'll bring out Randy Bullock again. Third time beyond 50. And it's right down the middle again. Bullock responsible for all nine Titans points. And now it's a two touchdown game. Empty to start things. Darren Waller makes the catch. First down, Raiders. A carry now. A nice block from Renfro. And this is Josh Jacobs who's had a solid game. A touchdown catch and a touchdown run. Car off the fake. He's throwing deep and wide open is Darren Waller. Down to the 10. This time he's covered by Christian Fulton. Who else can we throw at this guy? We just can't cover Darren Waller. And the Raiders are back in the red zone now. This is first down. Car. Buying time, he dumps this off. Jacobs running inside the five and he breaks the plane. Once again, touchdown Raiders, Josh Jacobs. Three touchdowns on the day. And the Titans don't have a single one at this point. And I think the fans are pretty tired of the product we're putting out here in 2022. And there is a We Want Willis chant filling the stadium, but they are not going to get their wish as Ryan Tannehill is back out there. Titans down 21, and the rookie Julius Chestnut running to the right side picks up 13. Out of the shotgun on first down, wide open now, Austin Hooper. So we're seeing some tempo here out of the Titans, and they have the undrafted rookie Chestnut in the game. This pass is off the mark, thankfully not intercepted or anything and now it's third and eight for Tannehill he's taken down pressure gets there again and it's fourth and long Ryan Stonehouse out there to kick this away and he gets it away he does get hit but there is no penalty marker and it's downed at the two Raiders backed up here late third quarter Jacobs out of his own end zone, but met by Cunningham. Out of the eye, still stuck here at the two-yard line. Jacobs gets a little more space, but not much. And the Titans will get it back. On to the fourth quarter, trailing by 21. It's dumped off. Chestnut makes the catch, and there is a penalty. Roughing the passer on the Raiders. 
Three receivers in the game on second down. Catch made. Nice play, Nick Westbrook Akine. They go up tempo at the 29. Chestnut on the screen has running room. Takes it inside the 20. And they bring him down at the 15-yard line. Finally in the red zone here. Tannehill for Woods. And they get inside the 10. Still wanting that first touchdown. Tannehill to the end zone. The catch is made. It's Austin Hooper with his first touchdown as a member of the Titans. And he'll leap into the crowd here. They're a little happier now with the Titans scoring, but still down two touchdowns here in the fourth quarter. Carr from the 29. Wide open. Cut by Devontae Adams at the 43-yard line. Now they go Jacobs' way, and there is a penalty as Jacobs picks up 11, but that looks to be coming back, holding. Waller's slot left on first and 17 as the pass from Carr is off the mark. He missed Jacobs. So quickly, they fall behind the sticks. This is a third down and 13. Carr has a man open, and he missed him. Renfro had it. But Carr sailed out of bounds. Tennessee football. Henry stuffed. 12 carries. Time running out here. We're at seven minutes to play. Third down. Out for Burks. He makes the catch. But lost the football. Nobody can get it, but Austin Hooper does. And he gets the first down. We'll take it. 6.19 to go. Chestnut is back in the game. They set it up for him again. To the outside, sprinting to the sideline. He does have pretty good skills to be a nice receiving back. Out to Robert Woods now on the RPO. Setting up a little bubble screen first down. We're down to four and a half minutes. Running inside again. How many more of these carries can you afford if you're Tennessee? We are approaching the four-minute mark now with time. Wide open, Nick Westbrook Akine. 20-yard connection, Tennessee finding their passing rhythm and back in the red zone for rushing. Throwing downfield, it's caught! Robert Woods at the two, and they will hurry things up. They don't want that play challenged. Tannehill, two yards out. He's going to keep it and runs it in for the touchdown. Second rushing touchdown for Ryan Tannehill. And suddenly, the Titans are down seven. 3.06 to go. Can they get one more stop? Johnson from the two will return this. Nice kick coverage. He stopped at the 19. And the Raiders have cooled off here in the second half, especially here on their last few drives. Carr gets it away, and he is off the mark again for Jacobs, and we're starting to get some more pressure. Second and 10. Good coverage. Carr under pressure has to throw it away. The defense has seemingly adjusted. It took a while. Third and 10. This is tough coverage again, and sailed out of bounds. It's fourth down, and the Tennessee Titans will have their chance. They've come back to make it a one-score game. They start at their 34. Tannehill wide open is Traylon Burks. He's into Raider territory, and now they're 39 yards away. You have all three timeouts. Derrick Henry is back in the game plan. And he runs it left with running room. And that's a gain of nine. Two minute warning. 29 yards to go. Back to Henry inside to the 20. And they can take their time. They were in a hurry and don't have to be now. Henry again on the carry. Only two on this play. It's four down territory. Third down now. Tannehill dumps off. Here's Henry, and he will get to the first down marker. He got it. What a play by Henry. Timeout, Tennessee. First and goal. Henry inside. He's got it. Touchdown, Titans. 
And they have pulled this off. Three consecutive touchdowns. But now the same predicament as last week. Do you go for it or simply tie? They're going for the tie this week. Bullock. Extra point. Good. Tied at 30 with 41 seconds to go. Which is a lot of time. And the Raiders have all three timeouts. But the defense has been great here in the fourth quarter. Can you get one more stop? Teron Johnson from the four-yard line. Breaks a tackle of David Long. He heads to the outside. He's across midfield. And Johnson, he's going to go. Not like this. Touchdown, Raiders. A kick return touchdown for Teron Johnson. And the Raiders, who just blew a 21-point lead, are suddenly back in front. A sickening gut punch to those watching this game. One timeout left for Tennessee. They used a couple on that last drive. They didn't expect having to score another touchdown here. It's checked down the chestnut, and he's not going to get out of bounds. So there goes the last timeout. you got to score a touchdown, and you're at your own 29-yard line right now with 18 seconds to go. Tannehill to the sideline, a penalty marker down. That throw was terrible. And it's a hold on Taylor Lawan. Now they just have to go 81 yards in 14 seconds, no timeouts. Tannehill protected, floats for Woods. He makes the catch and gets out of bounds at the 41. Good play. 10 seconds left, they motion Westbrook Akine. Tannehill throwing his way. He gets out of bounds at the 46. And with five seconds to go, they're going to go for the Hail Mary. And it's Malik Willis, the rookie with the strong arm, who is in the game. And Willis is going to let this go. It's going to get there. And it is incomplete. And the Tennessee Titans, despite their best efforts these last two weeks, are unsuccessful in pulling off the comeback, and they have fallen to 0-3 on the season. Back-to-back -back heartbreaks. This one felt even worse than last week. We had figured things out late in this game. We finally adjusted defensively. The offense and their two-minute offense seemed to get things on track. And we still can't find that first win. A kick return touchdown, man. Can you believe we lose on that? On top of that, no interceptions in that game. Only four combined sacks. A relatively clean game. But we played really bad on offense for a while. And I felt like I was just going through the entire defensive playbook to figure out what to do about these guys. I quickly figured out early on that a standard nickel defense is not good with our linebackers because we should just throw out an extra defensive back. When we did that, it helped, but not entirely because this defensive playbook has nothing with one linebacker on the field. They have three down linemen, two linebackers, and then all DBs. I don't want that. I want four down linemen, one linebacker, a true dime defense. So I have to adjust that. Next week, you get the NFL's leading rusher and third leading rusher going head to head as we try to defeat the Indianapolis Colts. They are undefeated, by the way. Do you think we beat them next week? Let me know in the comments section. By the way, that attempt at the Malik Willis chant, that was actually something I threw together Using College Hoops 2K8, you're able to create your own chants in there. And then I took that, I modified the audio a little bit. So I did my best there. I hope that was a nice little touch for the video. I've been wanting to do something like that for a long time. All right, we're 0-3. Let's talk draft for the first time this year. Now, bad news first, I screwed up the scouts. I picked the five scouts I wanted but I forgot to apply them to the specific region. So our national scout is not the three-star wide receiver scout that I wanted. So I messed that up. Maybe I should get better at my job. 
But we do have an interesting draft class here. I imported this one. Again, I had my wife save the file for me so I wouldn't see any players. The first seven show up there if you just go into the file and go to save. So I had her do it. So we have a class that I know nothing about, which is awesome. And I might be able to, uh, you know, have her edit in a few players maybe in a couple classes in the future. We'll talk about that later on. Right now, the mock draft is projecting us to take a defensive tackle in the first round. And John Thomas is that player who is an outstanding pass rusher. He can rush with finesse and power. He might be a fit. Wide receiver is going to be a big target of ours as well. We just need some different archetypes at the position. David Person is one we have a lot of information on who has some intriguing ratings here. But I'm also very interested in Johnny Cheeks because he has the speed and deep threat ability that this offense is lacking. And I want that field stretcher. I've already thought about like, oh, you already did this in your Vikings series. Why not, you know, see if Denver will trade you KJ Hamler. He would fit. The issue there is I don't want to give up the picks that we have. We only have five right now. I need to double that. And trading away picks for players is not going to get me there. And I'm not doing it for a role player which KJ Hamler would be. So we might have to bring in somebody that just runs some wind sprints down the field to try and open things up for this offense. Maybe we'll call up Josh Gordon, although he's not the player that he once was. That great season was almost a decade ago. But that's going to do it for this one. We're 0-3, but we're losing in exciting fashion. We'll try to win one of these games hopefully soon. Please leave a like if you're enjoying the series and subscribe to the channel. Leave your thoughts in the comment section and I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great day.